Good morning everyone, it's Scott Weddle here again. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. I've had a good start to the morning and my new morning routine, I'm loving it. I've changed things about. I used to get up and go to the gym straight away, then do all my stuff, but now I've changed that about actually a little bit and I've got up and do my stuff first, then go to the gym and I'm actually preferring it a lot more because I get my head in a better place. And I'm, I'm buzzing already, buzzing already. Don't get me wrong, I feel good after the gym. But I don't know, I just prefer getting my head in a better space first. I don't know, I've just tested a bit and I feel it works better with me. And since I've learned how to say no to people and stuff like that, and I have set up my diary in the way I want it set up, then I've got, I've allowed myself to do this, so it's perfect. And, yeah, so today, I don't know, I just really want to touch on a few subjects I've been talking about in statuses lately. And it's just about the way we humans work. Like ever since I've been working on myself and I've been clearing my own thought um, processes up here and I've really been transcending up the scale and my energy's quite quite powerful and I'm up in that higher range of frequency if you want to call it. And yeah, I just perceive things differently than a lot of people and a lot of people just don't understand the way I perceive things. But like, I don't expect people to understand it because they won't understand it until they work on themselves and they go up that scale. And yeah, so like, I actually sometimes feel I underestimate myself and my abilities because yeah, I do, I do sometimes pick up stuff and think it's mine and then go into a, a negative thought pattern. But hey ho, I, I, again that's just me underestimating myself and I need to just become more aware of when that happens. But yeah, so we human beings, like like I said, we seem to, um, whenever we've got something going on inside, we seem to project it outwards onto other people and we try and put that on other people. It's just what happens, it's, it's what happens, it's inevitable if you're doing it or not, you maybe probably aren't aware of it right now. But I'm just doing this video to make you slightly aware of what's going on. Because that's what happens. If you're going through something and you're feeling something inside and you've got an energy inside that you need to work on, then you're going to project that outwards and you're going to start asking people questions that you're actually really asking yourself. And another thing that we subconsciously do is we'll say something and then we'll maybe turn around and say, oh, but I'm not meaning that. I don't, I don't mean that. Uh, or... Um, I wasn't meaning to make that come across as nasty or whatever, but we say that, we actually subconsciously mean it. And you know what, what happens when we say something like that, and we're saying something that's a little bit manipulative or nasty, then, do you know what, that's what's inside of you, that's what's in here, and you're projecting it out. So open, instead of pointing your finger at someone else, or looking at someone else, I'm sorry, but bring your energy out of your body and turn around and look back at yourself. And that's just the truth. Sorry, it's the truth. And I just, that's all I do in life is point to the truth. Whenever something happens in my life, I always ask myself, what could have I have done better in that situation? And then you learn from it. What could, that's the question. What could I have done better in that situation? And then you learn from it. And then when you learn from it, you become wiser, you become stronger, you become a better person. It's as simple as that. So, think, just think about the, the, the words that you're saying on a daily basis and you're putting out there. Like sometimes I'll say something and I'll actually catch myself and I'll be like, Am I, I'm speaking to myself here. Like I, I can remember when I first started doing videos, like ages, like over, over a year ago or whatever. And some of my videos that I was doing, I can look back at now, and I was talking to myself. And there's some times where I will do a video and I'll be talking to myself. And I'll realise it a couple of days later. I'll realise it straight after I've done it. It's how we human beings work. It's how we're, what we work. We project out what's in us. So if you're asking questions out, out there, maybe turn those questions around and ask yourself. And you might have a light bulb moment and an aha moment going, oh my god, I'm speaking to myself. Because that's how we work. That is it, we project out what's within. I'll say it again. We project outwards. What's within here, sorry, we project out. It's as simple as that. So if you've got an energy inside that's not serving you, 
and you, you keep going, uh, you keep experiencing life experiences and things keep going wrong, then I'm sorry, but if you don't do the inward work, nothing is going to change because you're just going to move from one situation to the next situation and you're going to bring that same energy with you and the same thing's going to happen because your energy doesn't lie. Your energy doesn't lie. You can't get away from it. Energy doesn't lie. I'll say it again. Your energy doesn't lie. I'm sorry, but it doesn't lie. And that's how... That's how I know I am correct, because I check in with my energy, and my energy tells me I am correct. And it's simple as that. Your energy doesn't lie. You can lie to yourself, but then when you lie to yourself, you'll have some sort of negative emotion come on, or you'll just have some negative thoughts or weird thoughts come on. And that's a little sign telling you that, oh, you're out of alignment right now, which means, oh, I'm lying. Part of me is lying. The other part of me is saying, are you being serious? That is not what's going on. So you're having a conflict. There you go for, you get negative emotion, you get negative thoughts, negative feelings. So when we start educating ourselves on how the real world works and on how the mind works, then we perceive things differently. And that's exactly what I am out to do, is to educate people on how the mind works and on how the real world works so they can actually transcend and improve their inward energy and come up that scale and sometimes like you don't even you're not even consciously aware that these things are happening and you're just sitting there and you get you feel a bit overwhelmed or you feel weird or you're you maybe even your your body will start to ache or you'll start to feel tired or whatever and that's your that's your physical body trying to keep up with your energy inside transcending i've, I've had that before i've i have like had weeks where i'm like oh my god i'm feeling so bloody drained or then I understand what it is, it's because I'm working on myself actively and if I can look back to the times where I was feeling like that, it's the times where I released a lot of, a lot of shit and a lot of energy inside me that I needed to release and then my energies went up and my energies shot up and because your human body, your physical body can't move that fast and keep up with that energy, your, your body takes a hit so you start feeling a bit weird or you feel drained or whatever because your body's trying to keep up with your energy and it just can't. So, yeah, as you can see, I've got good energy coming right here right now, and I'll always continue to have good energy coming because I'm always actively working on myself and I'm not in denial. Um, and then when I do, I'm, a, I'm human, right? I'm human. So there's every now and then where I might kid myself on for a bit and be like, oh, but do you know what? I turn that around very quickly and I'm like, Scott, get your finger out. You're kidding yourself on right now. You're telling yourself bullshit. Get your finger out your ass and do something about it. Simple as that. Yeah, we're human. Yeah, we might talk to ourselves and kid ourselves on for a bit, but it's when you become self-aware that your whole life changes. So, become self-aware. If you're not self-aware and your 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 energy inside is not serving you in any situation you're going into in life, then do something about it or nothing will change. I'm sorry, but nothing will change, okay? So that's me for today. That's everything I need to say. And remember, no matter where you are in life right now, you can get to where you want to be with the right mindset and correct aligned action. Mind and body aligned, tap into the universal power, boom, done. We can make change organically without trying to force it and make things happen because then we just get stressed, overwhelmed, and we don't know what we're doing. So, if you want to make long-lasting change and you want to learn how to align your mind and body and tap into the universal power to, to make changes in your energy inside and start removing all those blocks that you've got inside of you that are holding you back from moving forward in life, then reach out to me and we can have a chat. I've got a few options for you that will actually really help you transform from the inside out and start living life the way you're meant to live it. Not looking to things out with you to fix this energy inside and going, oh, I need that car, I need that relationship, I need that, my friend, I need my family, I need this, I need that, I need everything. Yeah, they find, see with these things out with you that I was just talking about, they will all come naturally when you start working on here. And when we don't try and force things to happen, we allow them to happen. Rather than trying to make everything happen and then end up stressed and overwhelmed. And yeah, just not getting anywhere. So, if you want to learn about this and you want to educate yourself and transform yourself and become a better version of you and become the person you've always wanted to become, then reach out, 
shoot me a message on Facebook, email me at scottweddle at limitlessfitness.uk.com and then we can have a chat in greater detail and show you the options, okay? So have a brilliant Wednesday, make it count and yeah, just sit back and allow things to happen. Work on your energy and be the best version of you. Have a good one.